What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. Again, we're at Columbia Power Sports doing another bike review and a little look at. Today we're doing the Genuine G400C. You may know Genuine as a moped company, but they do make other bikes. And this one is more of a cafe style as you can see. Kind of a throwback to the 70s era. Uh, personally, personally I really like this style. I think it looks really cool. Um, I've always loved cafe racers, how they look, so this one, right out of the box, looks pretty much uh, like what I would do with it. I also remembered I have to get a tag. I'll be back. Put the tag on. We also filled it up with gas, so quick little pit stop so I don't have to do that on the road. This thing just looks really cool, so piqued my interest, and the seat's really, really comfortable and plush, so... Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. So let's see, on. Get a little attack movement. And... It's been sitting for a while, so... All right. Oh wow, this thing is peppy. For a little 400, this thing, uh, <laughs> pretty quick. Dang. Oh, go, go around. <laughs> All right, third time's the charm, right? Uh, this thing just needed a jump. The battery's a little low because it's been sitting in the showroom for a while. Because I think the story was a guy put a deposit on it then never came and it just sat around for a while. <laughs> yeah, this is very peppy. <laughs> it just kind of gets up and goes. Didn't have any turn signal indicators, so you kind of just have to keep that in mind. Um, I believe this is a five speed. I could be wrong, but we're going to find out. Right now we're in second, third. Golly, these round mirrors. Fourth. Fifth. And we'll wait. So, seating position, uh, it's very upright. Um, kind of feels like a, uh, you know, just a classic motorcycle. Downships very easily. And again, I'm going to do that, you know, loop I did, uh, if you saw my Riker video, do some city, do some highway, then do some more city. doesn't seem like it has a whole lot of power in the higher RPMs. If I tried to pass the car, that would take a little bit. But then again, this is a 400, so how much power do you expect, you know? Oh my goodness. What is this guy doing? Yeah, cruising, you know, at 45, it's pretty comfortable. There is going to be wind because there's no windshield, but it doesn't feel outrageous. On second thought, I'm probably not going to go on the highway. I don't know how much this could do on the highway. <laughs> so we're gonna go along the highway, but 
we won't go on the highway. But then again, cafe racers aren't really built for the highway. They're built to uh, race from cafe to cafe. They were originally popular in Italy and were and were ridden among the delivery boys who were delivering food or whatnot from cafe to cafe. So kind of makes sense that they aren't really built for the highway. Now of course people have turned bigger bikes into cafe racers. But this one is not really oh whoops. This one is not really uh built for the highway I would say. But just back then the brakes they were a little soft. I'd like a firmer brake. No, it was just it took a little bit longer than I wanted to to stop and I had to apply a little bit more pressure than what I'm used to. Oh, this thing is also, you know, brand new. I mean, it has 42 miles um, since the other guy kind of test rode it and I'm riding it. It's not brand spanking new, but it is brand new. It's never been titled, so technically it is brand new. Brand new, it's $39.99 which is crazy low for a bike that looks like this a 400 cafe racer that's pretty pretty good deal right there good job stupid like what do people think when they just pull out sideways like that i don't i don't understand there we go neutral is a little tricky But yeah, this road, you know, a 40. We're doing about 45 getting past, so it can keep up with traffic. It can do it. This seems like it's really good at, since it's so peppy in first gear, is, you know, stoplight to stoplight, round the block stuff. But it is also very good for a beginner because it is only a 400. It uh, doesn't have crazy amounts of power. Um, it's also very comfortable and it's just an easy bike. It's good for beginners around town or if you want that old cafe look. Kind of looks like the old Hondas back in the day. Yeah, it also has uh, like these knee pads on the side of the tank. Those are pretty comfortable to put your knee against versus just like having a metal tank. Oh, it does have a turn signal indicator. It's right there. I just was blind. It has a high indicator. Turn signal indicator, check engine, neutral, gas, all the things you need. Oh my god. And there I am stalling this bike, so no one's perfect, right? Like the clutch engage is pretty immediately, which is nice, but again, I'm not used to that, so it's just something to keep in mind. But it is something you will get used to when you ride it more and more. And uh, we'll do a little shortcut here. Yeah, it's a fun little cruiser. I could see this being a hit if you lived at the beach. This would be a good beach cruiser. Load up your board on here. Oh yeah. My goodness. Good lord. 
What's up? Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go back to the dealership before I stall out more because I don't know if it's me or the bike or what. Other than my errors and uh, riding this, it's a great bike. <laughs> I think I'm just being, you know, once once the first stall happens, you just kind of freak out. This could also be fun on some slow, curvy back roads, you know, speed limit 30, even though people don't do 30, but you know, that area. Okay, no, it's a five speed. I think I'm just counting wrong. And we're going to avoid some traffic lights because of this whole not running right. I I think it's just been sitting for a while since it was serviced and then it just sat up. I think it's just either the battery's a little weak or something. It's very comfortable. That was a very comfortable turn. Yeah, I didn't even feel those train tracks. This suspension and the seat, the combination of the two, because the seat is really soft, but you just absorb all the bumps. And here we are.